everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Shayna and I have an eight month old little girl today we're gonna to be talking about baby products that have saved my life so I had Emery back in October 2022 and we're going to be discussing the products that she was born up until now some of which we no longer use things first on my list we have the infant care lounger the snuggle me this is one of the first things I bought when I found out I was pregnant I knew I wanted this for years and I'm so excited so excited that we got it because we use this for literally everything when we wanted to hang out downstairs on the couch and Emery was tiny and like a new months old we let her sleep in this on the couch while we were down there she was taking naps we would set her down on this when we were cooking in the kitchen when we put have her on the dining room table while we ate dinner she just everywhere we went she went with us in this um, we never co-slept honestly there I don't think there's anything wrong with it but I we never did it personally because I was just uncomfortable every single time she moved made a noise or I would move or every couple of minutes I would wake up because I was nervous so we never did that no we did use this in our bed we would put her in between us sometimes when she woke up really early for a bottle and no in we would go back to sleep for a couple hours in the morning but never throughout the night and we did actually recently stop using this I know this is an infant lounger but we used it up until she was about seven and a half months old because she was a preemie and she's still pretty small so we put this in her crib and she slept in this in her crib so when we first transitioned her into her crib at six and a half months she wasn't sleeping through the night um, she kept moving around a lot and she was waking herself up because she wasn't used to having so much space like there was and so we started putting her in this so we would leave this in her crib and we would when we went to go put her down to bed we put her in this and we stopped putting her in the sleep sack and she slept through the night in this now about two three weeks ago we stopped using this that's when we woke up in one morning and we found her she woke up crying we had found that she had scooted herself up off of this and had hit her head on the uh, metal bars of the crib so we're like okay that's done and she transitioned fine she slept through she had through the night since we took her out of this and she's still not using a sleep sack either that was a lifesaver and I forgot to add it to my list but now that I'm mentioning it the sleep sack did her for a long while while she slept in her bassinet that is what had her sleeping through the night was because she kept waking herself up but once we put her in that sleep sack it was harder for her to move so she didn't wake herself up so sleep sacks are also the way to go thankfully she was an easy transition out of them i know some kids wind up using them for years and years and years up until beyond being a toddler um because they were so used to them so that's item number one then we have the angel care bath seat this thing we actually still use because I because I don't like the suction cup bath seats like that have the long things to them. So we still use this and she just sits here and she sits up. And then when I wash her body, I just stand her up and I hold one of her arms while I wash her body. But this has come in handy ever since she was born. We used to bathe her in our sink because we have a huge farmhouse sink. Uh, it doesn't get moldy or anything because it has holes. It's aesthetically pleasing. It's not ugly. It's not huge and bulky. It's easy to store. So I would definitely go for this and it's not badly priced and you can get it off of Amazon, Tar uh, Target, Bye Bye Baby. Um, even though I know Bye Bye Baby is now closing or at least the one here in where I live is. So definitely one of these. Hip Hop Activity Center. It's downstairs. I did not bring it up here. I'm not looking at huge things. So I'm going to pick, going to put a picture of it right here on the screen. I love this thing. My daughter loves to stand up. That is like her favorite thing to do. And she is so close to walking and wants to walk so bad, but she still needs to get her balance, her balance in that jumper help lets her stand up and, you know, play with toys and do exactly what she wants. She's not sitting down. She's up. So she loves it. She will sit in that thing for hours. So that definitely helps me out a ton. Same with the skip hop uh, floor seat. We used that for a while before we transitioned into a high chair because uh, she, you know, she was still too little for a high chair and she could sit up on her own. Uh, so we started using the floor seat and we would sit on the couch with that or I'd and feed her dinner or lunch or I'd put it on our dining room table and I'd give it to her for that. Even though I know it's a floor seat, I did put it on top of services so she could be eye level with me and that way it was easier for me to feed her. We were using her, we're using her swing that we have, but it was difficult because I was always having to bend down and it was really painful because it hurt my back. So the floor seat was definitely a lifesaver and it swivels. I will also put a picture of it as well. It swivels, it has like a little plate and then on the other side, it has three toys that she can use. Um, handy as well. She'll sit on that on the couch in between me and my husband or on the floor if she gets bored with something. That is one thing that my daughter is. She does get bored very easily and she likes a variety of different things to choose from. So that definitely has come in handy as well. Another thing is 
a boppy. We no longer use this, obviously, because she can sit up on her own without issues. She doesn't need bumpers. This did help with tummy time a lot because my daughter hates to be on her stomach and this helped because she was like all that pressure wasn't on and this helped her keep her head up and she could lay on it if she needed to. Getting her balance when she was sitting up, this helped as a bumper for her not to fall over. So the, and it helps with breastfeeding as well. I only breastfed for about nine weeks because I was not producing enough. My daughter, we struggled a lot with breastfeeding because she was in the NICU. So it was hard for her to get started on my breast. and. I wasn't sure how much, I couldn't tell how much she was getting. You never can tell how much they're getting when they breastfeed from you. And because she was a preemie, I was so scared she wasn't getting enough. So that was one of the reasons why I stopped. But this, a boppy is definitely recommended for um, breastfeeding. It had frig and itsy ritzy passies. Oh my God. My daughter, okay, so my daughter took a passy at two weeks old. We were going to only have the itsy ritzy one with me now, but this is one i will link them i got them off of amazon there were a bunch on my registry but these are the passes she likes with this kind of nipple she doesn't like any other ones she only likes the long one with the ball so itsy ritzy and the frig her absolute favorite and to go along with that we got passy clips i got these braided ones off of amazon but there are a ton of different ones that you can get but we didn't use passy clips for the longest time i think for a couple months when she was born then i started using them and i did not know what i was missing out on because oh my god that girl spits it out of her mouth drops it th she takes this thing and she throws it around so this is yes it even acts as a play toy for her so this is definitely a lifesaver um not wanting to lose a passy if it falls out of their mouth it's not going to fall on the ground and get dirty you're not going to fall and lose it your animals won't get to it so on and so forth so this is a lifesaver as well ikea high chair that it when we transitioned from the swing to the baby floor seat to the high chair when she was finally able to we got the ikea high chair I, you can, do, I'm sure any high chair, high chair will work for you. I just, I wanted the Ikea one because it was just simple and you could add colors to it if you wanted. Like you, we have the mat that goes on it. We can change the color or fabric of seating. So that's why I got the high chair, but that's been a lifesaver. And we put, we have these suction cups. I don't know what they're called. My mom got them, so I can't link them. And I don't like, I don't even know what they call, but they're suction cup that spin. There's a butterfly, there's a bee flower I think and they're all different colors and they spin and they suction cup and we put those on her um, high chair in the kitchen we leave them on there and take them off when we feed her and stuff like that so that way we're in the kitchen cleaning up making dinner whatever she has that to play with in the kitchen in her high chair so that is a that's a lifesaver and a must-have zip up dual um sleepers or footies whatever you want to call them but ones that have zippers that have two zippers that go up like this or down like that um, or even just the ones at the bottom that zip up, but zipper, sleepies, sleepers or footies, whatever you call them, are freaking amazing. Buttons are awesome, but they take forever, and especially when you're fumbling in the night, trying to change a diaper, or it's definitely a lot easier. So, those are chef's kiss, okay? I have a, the snot bulb sucker thingy. So, I know a lot of people recommended the, a lot of people recommended the Nose Frida, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like this. This thing is way too freaking big, way too big. My daughter is small, her face is small. Hell, this won't even, this will barely fit in my nostril. So no, I did not like this. I'm using this that we came home from the hospital with. We love the bulb sucker. This thing works awesome. A smaller one that goes around her diaper bag, we keep this one here in the house. So definitely one of these and also the boogie. Now this is good for like boogers that are like right here at the surface, you just scrape them out. We've used this. A lot like this came in handy especially when I don't use this as much anymore we mainly use this one now but this came in handy when she was really really little love this thing all right and then the uh, teething tubes it really helps she's not much for the cold ice ones I have to like water it down a little bit and had to hold it in her mouth she to get used to it so she prefers these over the ones you put in the freezer for teething honestly my daughter has handled teething very well she's eight months old and already has four teeth or her fourth one's coming in so and we barely noticed when the first tooth came in was like she was teething i mean we noticed the drooling but she wasn't any more cranky but when she does get cranky teething tube is the way to go now every baby's different this is the one that my daughter tends to want so if you have a teething baby and like to figure out some ways to help that baby if things aren't working that you've tried definitely try one of these if you haven't already all right and then soft and hard rattles my daughter loves anything that makes noise 
So these ones, are, these ones to me make more noise than the um, soft ones, depending on which ones you get. And they're easier to grab onto, especially if your child is small and has small hands like mine. So definitely hard rattles, but she does like to throw them around so she will knock herself in the head. So that's the only downside to these, but these are one of her favorite things. Then my daughter also loves soft things and she likes to rub things on her face. So definitely soft rattles. Blankets. Like I said, she loves to rub things on her face and when she's going to bed, she takes it, she just scrunches it up and she smells it and she gets all cozy. It is so cute to watch. But blankets, any kind of blanket my daughter loves. And over here, I already have sitting on this table, we have the hatch sound machine and we have humidifier. Um, we use these, this every night. I always forget to fill us up with water, but this has been a life changing thing, especially when she, when my daughter has colds or sniffles within, a, within two nights, I see a difference when we had this on in her room. So definitely this sound machine and that, and what goes along with the sound machine, Cole, uh, mobile over her, over the crib. I don't know how your baby sleeps. Could be completely different than mine, but mine, we always turn that on to distract her to go to sleep. She stares at us for a while. She listens to the music and she listens to that and she will, she soothes herself to sleep. And I don't, I honestly am not sure if those two things have a factor because I have not tried to not turn either one of them on in the middle of the night and just leave her there. And I don't want to find out, but those two things have definitely come in handy for us as a family. So I would try that if you're having issues with your child going to sleep. Oops. Hello Bella diapers, Pampers, or Huggies. Those are the three brands that I've worked for us. Don't like parents' choice. Don't like loves. They do not hold. I never use loves in my life for my own child. I have for babysitting other people's kids. Them, I don't think that they hold up well. Um, obviously, I could have a difference of opinion than other parents or caregivers, but for me, family, we do not use loves. We use Hello Bello, Pampers, and Huggies. Pampers and Hello Bello are my favorite. We actually just started a Hello Bello subscription because we just ran out of the diapers that were given to us as gifts, uh, baby showers, and so on and so forth. So we just started a subscription to Hello Bello. I do not prefer Hello Bello wipes though. Uh, they do come in the bundle, so we are going to be using them because honestly, it's the cheapest option that I found with the Hello Bello bundle. Because my favorite wipes are either Pampers or Parents' Choice. Parents' Choice wipes, like I said, do not like their diapers, but love their wipes because they come in the biggest pack. They come with 92 freaking wipes. And their packaging that they come in, it, it's not fragile, closed, and keeps them, you know, all nice and tight and stuff like that. I do not like Pampers Sensitive wipes. I will say that because I hate the packaging. It rips, and they get, they get dried out so fast, or I have to put them in a Ziploc baggie, and it's just, no. It's inconvenient. I don't like it. I do like Pampers wipes, just not the paper sen sensitive packaging. Those are our favorite wipes and diapers. Those are an obvious, you need those for every child that you have, but those are the ones that we do use. So obviously they've been a lifesaver. Get into Mylocon and Gripe Water. So I don't have them with me, they're in her diaper bag, but those are the two things that we use. I'm not gonna say on a regular, but whenever she does need any kind of medication, we use those. I don't really know if gripe water is considered a medication, but we used that a lot when she was little. We don't, I don't think we've used it in months, actually, gripe water, but Mylocon we have used multiple times because my daughter has a lot of issues with constipation. It runs in my family and in my husband's side of the family, so we knew my child was just screwed when it came to that. So she has a lot of issues going to the bathroom. So Mylocon for gas relief has definitely helped. And we did purchase a, just a constipation like medication for her to take, um, but we've only used it once. And I'm trying not to use it, but we've been, because we've been giving her like trying to use natural remedies for that, like giving her, like feeding her foods more often that'll help her go to the bathroom, like greens, apples, prunes, and stuff like that. So we've only had to use the other medication once, thankfully. And next on my list is ANZ ointment. So I know a lot of people swear by a lot of stuff for diaper, for diaper rash or any kind of rash on a baby. ANZ ointment is one that I always go to. This made my daughter's diaper rash go away in one day. I kid you not, one freaking day. Now we don't have to use this often because my daughter doesn't really have issues with diaper rash, but when she does, we use this. And the only issues that we do see that she has every other week or so is um, her around her butthole. It'll start to crack a little bit or bleed because she's straining and pooping so hard and I will use this on it and it helps. So, like I said, I know everyone has their own favorite diaper rash cream for us it is and ointment and this is multi-purpose this is not technically a diaper rash cream this is for anything and it works 
This is actually the the A and D ointment I used when I got my tattoo, <laughs> and it works. Um, and then last but not least, I have on my list is a ball pit. Bigger and better one for her, either for her birth, her first birthday or for Christmas. I haven't decided yet, but we have a small one. It's like a like a floor mat jungle gym thing that turns into a ball pit and we've been using that her she loves it ever since she's been able to sit up on her own that is what she's been using we put it on our bedroom floor it sits on top of our bed it that's one of the things that we use like i said my daughter gets bored so that's one of the things that we transfer her to whenever she's done with the other thing so that has been a lifesaver she likes to pick at the balls and look at it we'll put her other toys in there her other rattles her little balls we do a love every subscription and she plays with those toys in there so she absolutely loves her ball pit, and that's another life-saving product that we own. With everything on my list, you guys, that I just went over. I hope this video wasn't too long, and I hope you guys took something away from this. I hope this helps you with any recommendations that if you're getting ready to have a baby or you already have a baby and you um, haven't thought to try something that we have tried, but I just wanted to share what we have been using for our family that my daughter absolutely loved and has saved our life since having a child. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.